we were looking at major cities across the country, you know, the New Yorks and LA's and San Francisco's of the world, at what they were doing with the same technology we had access to and thinking, why can't we do that? We've got these tools that make it really easy for us to visualize vast amount of data and to easily communicate that to anybody. Data is important in making any good decision. Data is the one truth. You can interpret the data in many ways, but at the end of the day, hopefully, if you're looking at data objectively, then you can make a very informed decision. We use the whole litany of, of Esri products. We use ArcGIS Online. We're also using ArcGIS Pro for all of our desktop needs. Our major concerns at Johns Creek are two things, public safety and traffic. So we're constantly trying to build visualizations, we're trying to do analysis, we're trying to pave roads. We can go through the entire city and just pave every road and it'll cost us a billion dollars. Or we can take limited resources, use GIS, and very easily and surgically fix the problems where they occur and save a lot of resources in the meantime. We're all using the same database because we have it as an open data hub. So I don't have to worry about my public works department using one set of maps and my community development team using another set and police with a third set of data, as well as my citizens. So when someone's pulling something up on Creek View at home, they're looking at that same kind of information. So it's that building of trust and transparency and they're all connected by that singular set. In the past, if you're looking to locate a fire station, it's, hey, there's a great spot and the land is cheap, let's build it there. With GIS and all the data that we have, we can look at the density of fire calls and where that's happening. And then we can look at available properties and try to figure out, based on potential response times, where the best location for a fire station would be versus where it would be ineffective or marginally effective. That can be the difference sometimes between a fire truck getting to your house in time and it not getting to your house in time. That's the power of GIS. That makes me feel like, you know, if I don't get anything else done that day, I've actually done something good. I start tearing up here because I'm so emotional, seriously. We're looking at density, we're looking at where businesses are located, we're looking at where the parks are in relation to how much does it serve particular residents. We're even looking at things like what kind of lights should we use so that there's not a spillover into the neighborhoods. There's a, a variety of reasons that an entrepreneur or any kind of company, even an existing company, might want to go to our data hub and download data. Data is becoming very quickly the, the new oil. It can be used to test ideas to find new markets, to try to look at, you know, not only where are, where are the neighborhoods in Johns Creek, but how do the demographics match up with that? If the mayor sees a problem in the city and wants to address it, whether it's traffic or stormwater infrastructure that we need to maintain or whatever, he can look at the data, make those determinations himself, using staff to inform his decisions. As an example, we knew that we had an underservice of parks in certain areas of the city. We knew that intuitively but we used the data to sort of pinpoint, given the land that was available, what would be the smartest use of land to ensure that we broaden the service opportunities and recreational opportunities for our citizens. One of the biggest wins is just seeing people use our technology. We've launched an Alexa skill that ties into our open data portal. The intent behind it was to take all the data all the visualizations that we have in the data hub and try to distill that up to the 10 things that people are really most interested in and communicate those. This could help democratize data. What we're doing in Johns Creek is risky in some situations. I mean, we're taking public money and we're trying to build Alexa skills that tie into an open data portal. We're trying to take data you know, and visualize it in a way that very few places are doing. I think that's a mindset change for most people because if you've been in government for decades, there's a tendency to think, well, I know where things need to go because I've built 12 fire stations in my career. Well, maybe you do, and maybe the data will just reinforce it. But isn't that something that you'd want to know? We're trying to, to positively turn the wheel so that we're living in a better society that's safer, that has cleaner air, and you know is more equitable for, for more people. That, that means something. That's where we, we make the most impact.